Hey there, how are you? You're looking out of this world. Space is filled with an unimaginably large number of things. Things that benefit us, like sunshine from the sun and gravity, which keeps us in orbit and basically prevents us from flying into the abyss. But there are plenty more things that have been found in space that are very dangerous to human life. Things that are real threats that, should we ever come across them, would be a big problem for us. Okay, right, we've had a problem here. This is here. Here are the 10 most dangerous things found in space. Number 10 are comets. Comets continually orbit around star systems, but these naturally occurring propelled masses of ice and rock are very dangerous. From studying comets in our own star system, we know that they are icy bodies which, when warmed by the rays of our sun, release gas and dust, creating a huge tail behind them. This jet-like process propels these objects around the solar system. But because comets propel themselves while being pulled around by the gravitational forces of the solar system, their orbits are a centric and not always easily calculated. There are well over 5,000 comets in our solar system with thousands more potentially out there just flying around. Some of these comets have nuclei measuring up to 100 kilometers. Literally if one of these ever hit our planet the energy released would wipe out um all of us. There's something to think about while you go to bed tonight. Number 9 are asteroids. Asteroids are rocky objects which orbit a star, and like comets, they can crash into planets causing devastation. For the most part, asteroids tend to be fragments of rock formed during the early stages of a star system. Otherwise, they can be the debris left over from large collisions involving planets or moons, or even the remnants of a larger rock body torn apart by gravitational forces. In some rare cases, they may have even originated from other star systems and were fired into our solar system during a supernova or other high energy event. Through gravitational attraction, asteroids can be put on a crash course with a planet. Oh, but Matt, that would never happen. That's only in the movies. Actually, it's happened to Earth before. And scientists believe that there are so many asteroids out there, it's not a matter of if, but a matter of when this happens again. <laughs> Where's Bruce Willis when you need him? Number eight are coronal ejections. Coronal ejections from stars have the potential to cripple technology and even burn off parts of the planet's atmosphere. In case you didn't know, we need that. While they're actually very common, these ejections just need to be the correct strength and trajectory to cause mayhem for anything caught in their path. It's assumed that just like our own sun, all stars produce such events, and so this would be a hazard to every star system in the universe. Coronal ejections usually occur during a sun flare, which is a sudden increase in energy output on the surface of a star. Though some flares do not result in coronal ejections, when they do, the star spews out hot radiated clouds of plasma. When this shockwave of plasma reaches a planet, it can cause geomagnetic storms which tears electrons from electronic devices and may even expose any present life to cosmic radiation. And I know the comics make that sound cool like you're going to turn into Bruce Banner the Hulk, but uh, that's most likely not going to happen. You're more like you're just gonna have like hands growing out your face. <laughs> Number seven are interstellar planets. We commonly think of planets as masses of rock or gas which orbit a star. But there are planets out there without a home and if one of them wandered into a star system, it could be disastrous. Hey, just a planet looking for a home. Oh, what is that, Earth? I'm coming for you. These interstellar planets spin through space without orbiting a star. It's believed this occurs when a planet either flung out of a planetary system by gravitational forces or when a planet forms from debris outside of a stellar region. Some of these planets may even be failed stars, which didn't reach enough mass to ignite. It's possible that an interstellar planet could pass close enough to a star system to be pulled into it. For example, if a new planet were suddenly mushed into our star system, basically there would just be constant planetary collisions. And it's not like there's just a few of them, it's estimated that there are billions of these worlds out there as we speak, wandering alone through the cosmos. Yeah, that's not good. Do interstellar restraining orders exist? Number six are high velocity stars. 
High-velocity stars are some of the most dangerous objects in the universe. They move faster than the stars in their local neighborhood, and so they have potential to collide with other star systems. Like an interstellar game of bumper cars, except everyone dies. There are three types of high-velocity stars. These are runaway stars, halo stars, and hypervelocity stars. Of these three, it's hypervelocity stars which are the most dangerous, and also have the coolest name. These stars can have velocities which are so high that they can escape the gravitational pull of an entire galaxy. Interestingly, no one is quite sure how they even form, although some theories suggest that each hypervelocity star previously orbited a second star, which then exploded and accelerated the surviving star to hypervelocity. If a hypervelocity star entered our star system, it could pull planets into its fiery embrace. <laughs> so romantic. Number five is a supernova. A supernova is a devastatingly dangerous space explosion. They occur at the end of a massive star's lifespan, when a titanic explosion takes place, creating a light source which can easily outshine most of the stars around it. These events have been recorded in the night sky many times, especially with Kepler's supernova in 1604 visible to the naked eye even though it was 20,000 light years away. When the explosion occurs, the dying star expels much of its matter at 10% speed of light. This gigantic shockwave has the potential to destroy basically anything in its path. Hey everybody, getting ready to die, you better watch out! Now while these events are rare, some people believe that dim white dwarf stars could explode in this way, which could happen suddenly with almost no warning. But luckily no such candidates have been found close to Earth, uh, yet. So just saying, you might want to cross your fingers that our interstellar neighborhood is a safe one. Number 4 are Rogue Black Holes. Black holes are among the most fascinating objects in the cosmos, but one theory suggests that their destructive power could be waiting just around the corner. Hey, hey there, I'm a black hole, I'm destructive. Known as rogue black holes, these gigantic objects are capable of strolling into a star system and swallowing it up. Basically like an all-you-can-eat planet buffet! They're produced when a star collapses in on itself, creating a point in space where gravity is so strong even light can't escape from it. What's worse is that they can't be observed directly and we can only detect them when we see their gravitational influence. While a supermassive black hole can be spotted moving around a distant galaxy, there actually is one that is much closer to home. Known only as the bullet, this probable rogue black hole is moving against the rotation of our Milky Way galaxy and could destroy any system it encounters. Oh, don't worry, if you haven't lost sleep yet based on our impending doom, we got three more to go. Number three are gamma rays. Gamma ray bursts are one of the most energetic explosions in the entire universe. If one of them hit Earth, the consequences would be, ah, uh, what's the word, deadly? They're caused by a rapidly rotating high mass star collapsing in on itself. This creates a neutron star, quark star, or black hole, and releases a beam of radiation in the process. These bursts contain more energy in just a few seconds than our sun will release across its estimated 10 billion year long life. If one of these bursts is directed at Earth, it would deplete our ozone and expose us to harmful cosmic radiation. Now the good news is, is that scientists believe that it is unlikely that an event like this will happen, but some also believe that a gamma ray burst was responsible for the Ordovician extinction around 455 million years ago. In case you don't know what that is, that event wiped out nearly 85% of marine species. So that's bad news for fishermen. Number two is galactic cannibalism. No, this isn't aliens eating themselves, let me explain. Galactic cannibalism is one of the most dangerous and terrifying events in the known universe. Galaxies contain billions of stars and planets, and some may even have supermassive black holes at their center. This creates an immense amount of gravitational pull. When the gravitational attraction of two galaxies takes effect, a collision occurs which rips entire stars and planetary systems out of their orbit. Usually the larger galaxy absorbs either a section of or the entire smaller galaxy. And scientists predict that this is going to happen in the next five years. Mwah! 
No, no, I'm joking, I'm joking. It's actually going to take 4 billion years when our galaxy will collide with the Andromeda galaxy, with a 12% chance that our entire solar system would be ejected from the newly formed galaxy out to wherever. Good thing that by then, Earth won't even be habitable due to our sun expanding. Every cloud has a silver lining, I guess? And number one is the Big Rip. Most cosmologists agree that the universe began with a gigantic explosion known as the Big Bang, but some believe that this event will inevitably lead to the end of the universe itself. Known as the Big Rip, this theory states that the universe will eventually literally tear itself apart. The idea is that following the Big Bang, the universe began expanding. This expansion is still accelerating due to an elusive force known as dark energy. Those who support the Big Rip hypothesis believe that this expansion will eventually stretch the universe to an infinite point, causing everything from galaxies to stars, even subatomic particles themselves, to suddenly tear apart. But hopefully this doesn't happen for a very long time, A, because I want to live, and B, I've got a lot of errands to do today. It's just a big list. So those were the 10 most dangerous things found in space. And if you guys enjoyed this or learned something, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet, and click the bell beside the subscribe button to enable notifications so that you never miss a thing because I release new videos all the time. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye now!